Hey guys, check this out. This is my own machine, AFK smelting machine device. And not only does it cook the food for you guys, but it also gives you all of the smelted items you might use, like diamond, iron, gold. And it can totally do it AFK. You can go away and do a couple of other things, whatever you might have to do. And then you come back and all of your food will be cooked and all of your items will be broken down. If you guys want to know how this is built, stick around and I'll show you. Hi guys, I'm Sarah from 190. If you would like to know how my AFK machine is built, stick around and I'll show you how it's done. So what we need is a trap chest, plus two normal chests, a block of glass, redstone, three redstone torches, one lever, a dispenser, and a oven, and five hoppers, guys. That's pretty much it. So what you want to do is have a chest like this, with a bit of redstone underneath. You want to break down around here, and where that redstone block is, where you put the redstone on, Put three redstone torches on one side, just like this. And then you want to, wherever your front is going to be, so wherever you want to face, will be where you put your oven. So first you want to put down your dispenser, this is the dispenser facing up. So once you've accomplished this, then you want to get a glass block on the top, and now break blocks around the back here like so. Okay, we're going to put a hopper straight into the back of that dispenser. And now we can put our oven right facing this way. With a hopper facing inside of that oven. And a hopper facing down into that hopper. Another hopper will go straight into the oven. And that hopper will go into that hopper that just went into the oven! Okay, I hope that makes sense. Now we put our trap chest right in the middle. And a regular chest and a regular chest left and right of that. That's it guys, this is the complete build. You don't even have to fill up your oven, it's automatic, completely automatic. Where your original chest is, you do have to put a lever right there. Now when you turn this on, it should react with that redstone underneath, but nothing will happen. The reason why is because we've not yet filled it up, plus we have not yet filled up the dirt yet. So let's get our dirt blocks out, fill up every single hole or gap that you can find. Every nook and cranny. And there we go guys, so that is like completely filled up almost and all around here as well, on top of the torches. Now you can see it's starting to react, it's updating the block. That's a good sign, so just keep building up like this. Over the top of the glass as well, right here. And you're done. So now it's automatically reacting with that dispenser underneath. So all we need to do now guys is name our chest. So first we want the raw food now actually, first we want our fuel, then we want our raw food, then we want our item of choice that we want to break down. So I'm going to use iron. So the first one will have an item frame, and it will be coal. So that's going to be food, and that one will be our block of choice. So here we go. Let's put our food item pitcher and our iron pitcher here. And then you simply just fill it up with the indicated pitcher. So I'm just going to fill it up with fuel, any type of fuel is good. Let's get some blocks of choice that we want to break down, some smeltering blocks like diamond and iron. And we got a few different types of food as well we're going to stash in there like chicken, raw, fish and potato. And here are our blocks in this chest here. So that's all I've done. And then I just walk away. I can go and do whatever I wish, I can go and work on a different build. If I'm in survival, I can go dig for some more coal, or diamonds. Right here, I'm, you can see I'm working on a pirate ship. And I'm pretty stoked about this pirate ship. I've only spent 20 to 30 minutes on it so far, guys, so don't laugh at me, it's only very thin and small at the moment. But anyway, I'm back now, and now I can turn this, and look at that, guys, all my items are cooked. I got fish, I got my chicken, and my metals are all gonna be in the mix eventually. It's still doing its job, it's still cooking obviously underneath, I think I might have put too many of those in. Yes, you can see underneath that the oven's still cooking, 
And guys, if you don't want to wait around, if you want all of your items to go straight into that chest, no harm done. All you got to do is actually we'll break this chest and move it back one block. So where that hopper is, we're going to destroy that hopper. I'm going to move that. I'll turn that off actually for now. So we're going to move this and break that hopper. And over the top here, we're just going to simply break that away as well. That's the machine that starts it. We broke that away where the dispenser is. And just whack in the, your trip or any type of chest right here. And put a hopper facing into that chest on both sides and from the front. So no matter where you throw your item, it will end up in that chest. So underneath the chest, all we need to do to fix this up is to put that block back that had the torches on it originally and just simply put the torches back. So I'm coming back around the side, just like in the beginning. And want one on the front, right where the dispenser is. It's very easy to update. And now all we have to do is fill up the holes once again with the dirt block. And let's get that on there. And just fill up the holes and put your redstone right there. And then you can either cover it up, put your lever there, or you can extend the chest and put your lever on the left side instead, like this. So I'm on that block. So here we go, I've just whacked that lever down. Now it's exactly the same. But the difference is, once it's, you can leave it on now, and it will constantly pump out your items straight into the hopper, straight into the chest. You can go dig for hours and hours and hours. As long as these are all filled up, and you keep filling it up, and when you come back, you can just leave it on, and it will keep throwing all of your items, as you can see, directly into the hoppers, straight into the chest. So it cooks your food, and it smelts all of your items. If you guys like this tutorial, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really does help my channel grow, and I truly appreciate it. I'm Sarah from One I Know. I'll catch you guys tomorrow.